So, um, minus the Undying, this is the same draft Extreme Gaming used in game number two against Team Zero. So, uh, this is something that, you know, maybe there's a little bit of comfort with. They've already played something like this today. Uh, yeah, yeah, like you said, it's against the Terrorblade, a lot of armor there, but we'll see. Because they were up against the Gyro in that game in terms of carry. So, it will be interesting to see if the PA can kind of succeed in a game like this. Also, I'm also interested to see the uh, the lane chemistry between a Silencer 3 and a 4 Doom. Uh, the There is none. It's very hard to find <laughs> it. I, I think they're going to lose that lane. This is Undying plus Phantom Assassin. So Silencer, if he gets jumped, like level 2, Blood Grenade, Tombstone, one Dagger, Silencer's done -zo. Hmm. So we'll see how aggressive both teams want to play. We've talked about the uh, aggressive behavior of Extreme Gaming and how they do it, especially when Ghost is on this Phantom Assassin. He's not afraid to get involved early. The battle begins. So, FY and Chalice. Ooh, Triple EY K. getting a three-man decay to start. The arrow misses, but FY's in trouble. They've got Somnus going to the Dragon Slave. The damage on a DY, and he'll survive thanks to the three-man decay. He has just a little bit of life left over. He was so tanky there. Also, Ghost some of these first arrows, blood. like, early on, DY had a bit of a problem in the first game landing those. Those actual imprisonment, like you gotta check those numbers up. Hmm. Somnus already down below half health. Maybe they could take advantage of the fact that, you know, DY is not here in the lane. They'll put some pressure on the ghost, despite the fact that he did get that first blood. And is DY getting anything dropped for him? He is. Uh, it's a. Uh, some tangos. Okay. So Ghost going to have another sack of Tangos to work with as he's eating some harassment here. FY just stepping forward with that Scorched Earth. But you can see Somnus really struggling with that Astro Imprisonment coming through from the OD. Already down to half HP after that first blood. JT's Courier. Maybe JT's doing this on purpose because he knows if he cripples himself in the early game, like he did in the second one, he's just going to make a great comeback and become the MVP of the game. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Just repeat anything that works, even if it didn't work in the beginning. TMing going to try and get a pull off here. Jin-Q just using that arrow to kill up one of those creeps, so that'll be okay. Top lane. It's the Arcane Curse early on with that Scorched Earth, so that damage over time is definitely high. About to hit level 2 on the Silencer. See what he wants to pick. FY... He's got Devour now at level uh, at that level two, so he'll pick that up. Here is Ghost jumps in on Chalice. They go to the Tombstone. This level two jump, the Arcane Curse. I don't know if it's enough. Blood Grenade trying to get a Tombstone. 125 gold there for Chalice, and FY can't return the favor. Maybe even thinking about going in while over mid. OD was trying to get a kill there on Asomnus, who just escapes, but the chase is on. They still want to go. FY trying to fight back. He has the right clicks and the Scorched Earth ending, meaning Ghost is going to get a double kill, and he's got all three kills with the side of Extreme Gaming. Oh, exactly as I said. You know, they get level two, Blood Grenade into Tombstone. They find Silencer. Don't ask me how I know. I, I'm a big fan of uh, offlane Silencer. I think I experienced every single <laughs> matchup ever played out, so... I know that it's not good. So now you're going to struggle even more. They hit level three. They bring some extra region. Maybe DY like needs to get potentially a trade kill or just go back because right now he doesn't have much mana or HP to work with. This is... I mean, this is a great start. DY could just sacrifice himself if he wants, right? I don't know if he wants to just like straight up die because let's see what he's bringing. Okay, he's bringing a healing cell, so... Doesn't want to die. By the way, DY, it's written in the name Undying. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. There's only so many heroes that you can uh, play that have something of your name in it. For everybody, I guess. I don't think there's uh, Unfying or anything like that for FY. XM ahead of Somnus by 
a solid margin. Look we'll at the difference in experience. Back because of what happened at the first blood Tombstone. First rune. Blood grenade thrown over to Fly. Chalice on the run, the stifling dagger, the right clicks in. He's got another stifling dagger in a second, but they don't want to make the move. Although he turns around and that's a, what? He it turned. Exploded. <laughs> dagger and decay and die. This is a type of a lane that I wouldn't mind seeing him pick up the full orb of corrosion because things are going so well. He's involved in all four kills, but maybe he also wants to get to cornucopia as soon as possible because it's a very expensive item. It gives you like good amount of region, some extra damage as well. So maybe save it. You can still go back for it later. He's still I was thinking too. because he does have, you know, one healing salve available. They're going in again. FY. Forcing out that Scorched Earth and backing off. Yeah, level two on that Scorched Earth. But still, it's just, it's not that easy of, uh, of a move. Like, FY is already down here on half health, and Phantom Assassin may be thinking about jumping back in, because he's got the south. Our King Curse comes out. DY, though, he's fine. He, he worries little about the aggression from Azure. We're yet to get on the board. All three lanes seem to be either winning or going okay for the side of extreme. They're winning over mid, they're winning top, and JT, he's fine. Things are looking really good for them. I mean, you gave Phantom Assassin the dream start. First blood, couple of extra kills. By the way, FY, he ate Ghost. I see Frost Attack on Doom. For a second, I thought he ate Phantom Assassin. What is Can he bringing? Damage. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be full power trades for now, because he does have that healing self. So, adjusting his item build accordingly. And Chalice, he has a lot of CS, 22, but when it comes down to net worth, it's uh, looking okay. It's pretty same Tombstone as the again. enemy offlane. Blood Grenade, Double Decay, they're always standing next to each other. They're gonna try and put some damage in on a DY for a second, but they flick us the Tombstone. And ooh, denied by DY, so no gold given up. Salve used again by Ghost. Another double decay and the rocket flare, the right click, the plus two there for Chalice as he hits that level four and has that one in the glaives. So they at least turn it around, but that means right now XM, with the help of Jin Q, is able to kill off Somnus mid. First rotation. Now they get it right. Astral Imprisonment into arrow combo. Let's see if Jin Q rotates to the top lane, tries to help out slightly because. I see Tian Ming still sticking around the top lane. So they want to have another kill. Yeah, TPing in DY, passing over another stack of tangos here for Ghost, and they're also bringing the Marana in. FY doesn't have a lot of health to work with, so he can be very vulnerable. He's got a healing Lotus, but that's it. Decay and the Leap, Chalice, Star Stormed, Infernal Blade. Ooh, gets the plus two on Jinkyu to start. Oh, good LSA to land on a two. And there's the Laguna Blade. They clean up in droves for the side of Azure Ray. And that will change the vibes because they, they turned it around. I guess they didn't expect Somnus that he's going to be the one rotating to this lane as well so multiple heroes here and that's going to secure some damage to the tower as well somnus running back once his bottle refilled arrow not gonna earn star storm maybe if maybe if jt had thrown a spear there he's only level five now level six on lou top lane again they want to go for ghost ghost is in trouble they're gonna bring over oh no they're not XM, he didn't commit to the go. <laughs> XM is like, I'm gonna die if I TP there. Good luck, Ghost. <laughs> Run away if you can. He's gonna need to find a way. I see on the minimap a lot of allied dots, a lot of radiant dots around, but he's gonna find a way how to get out of the trouble. And I, th I think at this moment, FY is just memeing. First he ate the Ghost, now he ate the Chalice because he has speed aura. <laughs> Ming, by the way, looking for that rune, but it's going to be the double damage rune picked up for XM. By the way, straight up Sunder used by Lou on to Mars, so JT was put down low on health, but didn't do anything with it. He just healed up. That was it. After the pristine start that Ghost had, like, they, he loses his tier one tower before Lou does or before they take the tier one tower top. Like, that is 
a, a real big way to turn around how this is going for the side of Azura Ray. They've got the LSA that used the Laguna Blade. They'll have the damage on a DY. They'll get the kill, and maybe they could get a Tombstone out of this. If they can get the vision up, but instead they'll just walk away from it. Yeah, they're getting the kills. Uh, they got the tower map opened up, so they planted some deeper vision. Ghost still at a good spot. The most farm hero in the game, and XM plus Jin Q will team up one more time, get the kill without even using the sanities. One thing about like Dire is it's much easier to farm. Like you, I think you can get away with greedier like carries on the Dire because you have mighty minds. The XP, sorry, the HP region got buffed, so you have extra seven now compared to the old four and it's a pretty huge area so while farming in the mighty mines the rest of the team comes over from extreme gaming and uh xm is here jinq only level five doesn't have the moonlight shadow but he's not too far away from it fy coming over he's level five they go to the global silence from chalice and they're gonna catch chalice xm six. Oh wow off that last creep they're gonna get a kill and a plus two chalice his game has morphed into something a-ok -okay for him that, that's the perfect timing. Chalice getting level 6 immediately and then dropping the global silence. So XM, his like first rotation, not really successful. Anything but. Another game where they're able to, like, lose somehow able to just farm around everything and not be touched. You, they've picked this TB three times in a row. Like, I get it. I do get it. And I know they lost game number two, but Lou is always farming so well he knows how to farm especially on these like illusion based carries right i mean he played Hook shot misses three times in a row now. arrow combo oh, doom oh, used yeah. onto this undying they're gonna get chalice they'll take him out dy gets credit for that kill despite the fact that he is doomed and they're chasing for one more fy is gonna be caught out as well so ghost getting another kill and taking out a spree so that's a good amount of gold for him you know, YBB during his, or not YBB, Lou during his YBB time and his extreme gaming time, one of the things that happened when he was on a team like that, it was very punishable to focus your attention on him. And he's really getting away with a lot. And I think that's the team around him just making sure that he's able to secure his farm and his lane. And that really makes him in a, a, such a, a great carry. Yeah, I mean, he's playing with better teammates. Like this yeah. is just a massive upgrade. Um, you know, that YBB team, of course, he got promoted with that team, and I think that's what really gave everybody an eye on who he was as a player. So, that's what really got him just the presence of mind and get into the, the, the team like Azor Ray. Because I think there were other carry options when they chose him, but, you know, they have a lot of faith in Lou, and I don't think it's been misplaced so far. Yeah, Lou Lu looked pretty good, knows how to farm, knows when to join. It's just that maybe in this particular BO5 series, because he played Terrorblade three times in a row, you're very cooldown dependent. Without meta, yeah. you're not going to be going around and doing stuff. So I'm wondering how long this is going to last. Hookshot over mid. They're going to try and get the control here on the DY. Chalice looking for another plus two. LSA and Somnus getting the kill there. So Chalice will get himself to eight permanent intelligence stolen, and he's looking for a fourth staff to start off. Yeah, how offlane silencer, I hope it becomes meta so I don't get reported every single time I play it. Yeah, I did have this uh, Overwatch case. Yeah, it was, it was, that was this guy playing offlane silencer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Griefing was the uh, Overwatch case. <laughs> Five reports immediately. Look at him. The oh. damage to tower. This hero has everything. Tumblr's toy, by the way, to jump on a JT, get the cogs, but they've got themselves the Astro Imprisonment. They go to the Laguna Blade to start this off. They hit the Dragon Slave, but the spear lands on a Somnus. The Global Silence is just not in time. So Chalice gets caught. He ends up dead. So does Somnus. Good turnaround for Extreme. And Chalice's positioning, not really the greatest there. He was the one, like, sieging the tower. That's why I joke that he has everything. Like, he needs to stay <laughs> back and uh, use the global silence. Because, like, five was already over. He got caught by a combo. Let's see again. Jane Astral Q. arrow. The AA combo. They land that Sanities. They go to the spear. TM Ming is in. They're trying to get a kill here on XM. They land the hook shot. And who's going to come in and clean up at least on XM? But... 
He's got to be careful. He doesn't have Metamorphosis. I don't know if that's going to matter with Chalice over here in the Arcane Curse on a DY. TP out from JT. LSA not in time. But Lou's got a double kill. And despite the fact that, well, he didn't have meta, Terrorblade got involved and got two kills. That's good gold going the way of Lou. Using a reflection and rest of the team slowing them down, keeping them in place. And this is going to be another tower secured for them because they opened up the map early on. So now, like the bottom tower falls every single time whenever Lou plays terribly and he played it every single game so far in this best of five, like they kill it relatively early on. Lou caught a glimpse of the Phantom Assassin and Ghost, so they used the Moonlight Shadow. Has that Battle Fury going into the death zone next? So that farm's going to catch up here to Lou, who's going early Scotty as he gets a Yasha delivered. I guess you, you could have the Scotty queued up, pick up the old Dior, could always audible into a Manta, right? They've got the Ensnare. They're going to Doom up Ghost. Cogs push him back. They're looking for the Infernal Blade, and there it is. They'll get the kill on the Ghost. They'll get the plus two. They look over at DY with the Metamorphosis, and now the right clicks. They've got the Rocket Flare to can a couple of these heroes. DY trying to run from TMing. As they'll look over at the Tombstone, Lou's going to get a bunch of gold for that. And they've got the Cogs around DY who kills TM Ming, but Chalice is here to try and collect his plus two, and he will. But Lou gets the killing spree, Chalice gets the intelligence. That's what Chalice comes for. Doesn't matter what he brings, he just wants to collect that smart. PA, uh, she might be the hero like her and Troll with the lowest intelligence gain in the game, so gotta be very careful, because, like... How much, in at least her abilities don't cost a lot of mana, so that's a good thing. How much int would it take to steal from PA where he couldn't use a dagger? <laughs> that's what I need to know. Now also queuing up the BKB, so the thought is there as well to go BKB post Battle Fury. An interesting build from Somnus. He's the one who picked up Blink Dagger immediately after Aether Lens to be able to close the gap, follow up with the Clockwork Initiation, get in, get stuff done. Ooh. Load the full combo onto someone. He might do this to XM if he's not too careful. They have Global Silence, they'd have to pop it first. So he could blink an LSA. They've got everybody coming through the Twin Gates. He might just be dead if he's not too careful. Good Four course. Staff Astro Imprisonment, but now they're gonna look. As they move further, they'll get the Ensnare from FY. The Sanities is dropped and XM's just dead anyway. Good job by the side of Azura Ray to make that movement. Oh, that Sanities didn't even clip Lena, so she did not become allergic to mana. Jinkyu also in trouble. Hook shot lands. Somnus is gonna have the LSA to follow it up. The Dragon Slave is there. The right clicks are enough. Uh, this Somnus guy, I'll tell you what, it's pretty good at Dota. Moving around the map, uh, getting stuff done, faking his abilities, and then forcing a couple of leap charges, and Tian Ming on point with the hook shot. Yeah. No, Somnus is very proficient with this hero. One of the last times that I did see Somnus play. Oh, this Lena, hold your thoughts, Dude, or hold my own thoughts. The cooldown, and he yeah, they're gonna try and go and get it out, and they'll use it onto the Phantom Assassin while they chase JT, XM back into the fight. The Global Silence was used. They've got the Tombstone down, and that will be the gold collected here by Chalice. 200 for him, Astro Imprisonment on a TM Ming. DY, though, he's getting away while the rest of the team, the LSA, it's gonna land here. They've got themselves an OBS as well as a Sentry. The Spear comes through, but it's only gonna be on an Illusion. JT still surviving. There's the Star Storm, Astro Imprisonment coming through onto the Terror Blade. Arrow lands on a Somnus, but he gets the kill on a JT. Lou Ooh, whoa, Spear Vessel on him. Stifling Dagger gets the kill. Laguna Blade, though, Ghost in trouble. Blink in front. They look to get the kill. Last words there. Somnus takes out Ghost. They're still looking for more. They're in front of Jinky with a battery assault. The Marana's in trouble with a Force Staff coming out from XM to save his life. Still, though, DY salving himself, running away, but they have some help. FY coming around. He's got that ensnare. They will chase, and maybe they can find him. There. He yeah, that's insane. Cornered himself in this like area near the bridge. Uh, they even had sentry, but he was out of range, and now he's gone. I don't think they're gonna catch yeah, him. Yeah, they're not gonna go through Rocket this thing. on cooldown. Tian Ming. Like, they're they're chasing him. Oh, he I lied. Staying. <laughs> They do and go through the Twin Gate. They don't have hook shot for 20. JT's actually spotted here. He's got a Blink Dagger in just a second. Goes to the God's Rebuke. DY is just soaking up a lot of this damage. They hit the Tombstone down, and DY now just Decay. TP from FY. JT, he's got Spear in two seconds. XM comes over. The Four Staff into the Astro Imprisonment. The weight on that Spear. So chasing through the Twin Gates means they're going to die. Well, at least TM Ing does.
<laughs> DY. That, like, that uh, trusty shovel almost killed him before you could die to Kabold. We've seen that happen multiple times. Now he almost died because he was dugging, uh, digging and uh, he dug out uh, one mango. But uh, what a nice play. Like this whole sequence of what happened in the last 45 seconds for DY is pretty amazing. And they're going to get Roche off this. Big Aegis to get. So, you know, I was talking about that Somnus game. He was uh, playing Lina on RNG. He was going up again. It was when right click Lina was the thing, but OD was coming in. He had a Satanic. They were down to their, like, last defense, and he got a Rampage. So, you know, he there are magic moments that come in from Somnus on the Lina. That's for sure. In a different sense, though, with, of course, the right clicks, like I said. Hookshot. JT. Chalice is here. Chalice starting to put out the damage, and he'll get that assist as JT falls to TM Ming, but he also gets the plus two. So, loving the plus two. Always happy. For the scaling build, he picked up Blink Dagger as his second item. So Who's to travel next for Somnus? Ghost? Uh-oh. Arrow. Decay, the jump, the kill. Tiaming, dead. This is keeping Lou to farm, top of the net worth. And I believe, yeah, bought that other old dealer, buys the point booster, he's got Scotty ready to go. And he's going Butterfly MKB next. He's an arcane rune, he'll pick that up too. These two items are just to counter Phantom Assassin. Wants to protect himself against right clicks and also wants to have something to deal the damage to Phantom Assassin. But for now, Ghost in a good spot, does have Orb of Destruction, Desolator as well, that's a lot of minus armor. So whoever gets initiated on by Ghost is most likely gonna die. If Lina gets jumped, she's straight up dead. There's no other saving tools other than Global Silence. Maybe a four sap from Chalice, but that's about it. Hmm. Yeah, DY is like, Please, if I ever offended the Dota gods, hey. I apologize and uh, he gets it. Because there's a big difference what it brings to the table if you have Marana with another leaf charge or if you have Undying with the Tombstone. Oh, putting the pressure onto the tier two tower. So, you know how I always love talking about glitched items here we go uh, bleak hallucination <laughs> with uh the rubik but somnus has crystal rift on his som on his lena so there's little crystals coming out and you can't really see them that much but that like blue line as well that's uh that's forty five thousand dollars right there. Uh, yeah probably ten thousand billion dollars for that one item it's a cool one no it's not uh very popular DY spotted rocket flares there, Moonlight Shadow, but they're under a sentry hook shot oh, no. into the creeps. They go to the Siphling Dagger, they've got the Global Silence, they get the kill on a TM Ming, they look over at FY, the crit is there, and they've got the arena for the LSA as well as the Doom. It's uh, PA in trouble, goes trying to go into the Tombstone. Uh-oh, he is in trouble still, and back into the Tombstone, still surviving, they get the kill on a Somnus. He's, He's got an Aegis, it doesn't matter, and he'll survive. That's what insane. Play. He left after three seconds and then, and then went back in the tombstone so negated the damage coming out oh this hat th this is the first page red okay right there. jesus that that he okay <laughs> like, it's just so ridiculous some of the things we're seeing in this series are insane he had a sliver of health he doesn't even have to use the aegis and now he's about to have a bkb He's back to full HP. Aegis yep. still up and running for another minute. Maybe they can take another. See that again because it's such a cool play. Tian Ming getting in, hookshotting these small camp and then arena on top of them. He gets inside. One Mississippi, two, three, and then he he like leaves for a this second, goes God. back in. This is my house. Nobody enter. And he gets out like the last tick. All it took it was one tick for him to be able to live there and uh eh, some dota is a beautiful game after all 
All these features small things, that feel like uh, bugs. Definitely looks cool. And now this brings Ghost to level 16. So, coup de gras. Soon to be level 3. And that's going to be ooh, 450 crit damage. DY dead to Chalice. He's getting kills every now and then. He wants to go into a hex. He's got 18 on that permanent intelligence. Radiant. We're not really feeling the oomph of a silencer. Like, he's kind of just doing the same thing right now as a 5 silencer, you right? You shut up. You're a hater. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I offended. It really isn't much. It, 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 like, becomes a position 5 unless you're really popping off. Because uh, there's a big transition between, like, silencer as a core where he's, like, doing good, and then maybe he falls off, things are not going correctly, and then once he picks up, like, the shard... Uh, uh, gets the Hurricane Pike, but for now, it's going to be Recovery Midas on Chalice. 25, 26-minute Pytus. No stranger. To scale. No stranger to the Recovery Midas, Pytus. Rydus? Lena going for the Ags of, uh, with that new ability getting activated with it, the Flame Cloak. Went two mobility items in a row with the Blink and the Boots of Travel. So he's almost level 18 as well. He'll have that third level on the Laguna Blade at 900 damage. Magical, of course. Yeah, that's, and Lou, no, that's 900 Lou. before Spell Amp. So you have like Fiery Soul. You have Spell Amp 35% from the Flame Cloak. Maybe he finds something else in between there. Level 20 Spell Amplification Talent. Okay. So a lot of math not working in my head, and I'm not even going to try. Truthfully. It's over 1,000, you can say that. It's over 9,000, I can say that. <laughs> so smoke used here by Extreme Gaming. Five-man smoke with the Moonlight Shadow. They'll place some high ground vision over in the triangle of the Radiant side. Meanwhile, the Azure Ray players are waiting on the other side of the mid lane. And kind of get a feeling for what is going on here with Ghost just on the front lines of that mid lane farming up. Talked about the Scotty picked up. The BKB is here for the Terra Blade. Still has that Butterfly MKB combo queued. And there's that Ags for the Lina. So we'll see if Somnus can get that done. He's going to sip on this bottle to try and get back near his team knowing Extreme Gaming are close. Chow is blinking forward, and they start to retreat a little bit, but FY is in the trees. That Lotus Orb runs out. JT looks over. Arrow comes in and hits onto Somnus, and they're going to have an arena. Spear comes through. BKB is going to be popped. The Global Silence is a little bit late. They go into the Cycling Dagger. They're going to get the kill here on a Somnus. Look at the right clicks. They've got this Lena dead to right. They'll look for more as Sanities is dropped. FY falls. Goes for the double. Now a triple kill. He is ripping them apart. Lou, TPing to safety just barely, and the fight falls apart for Azure Ray. Extreme Gaming were lingering a while there. Yeah, great initiation from JT. Rest of the team, like, backing him up almost immediately, and you see, like, Lina against Phantom Assassin matchup. We talked about that this is not straight up carry to carry matchup that they wanted, but they wanted to delete other heroes, uh, specifically Lina and OD XM. He drops that ulti, deals the damage, puts mana allergy on them and then the fight's completely over like without lena you're not gonna have damage they're also taking care of phantom assassin so that she doesn't get doomed with Ooh. this lotus orb from jin q jt jt he's alone in no man's land yeah fy in the infernal blade they've got the war stomp tia main gets the kill by the way ghost now having that ags upgrade to blur so to make it even harder for this uh azure ray team get their eyes on Ghost, which uh, makes a lot of sense lore-wise for a Ghost. Yeah, it's a eyes really, on a Ghost, never really gonna happen. Yeah, it's uh, lore-friendly. It's a good upgrade, like refreshes everything so you can jump between the targets. You have also a way of dispelling yourself, not against global silence, but you have BKB for that if necessary. And another layer of save. DUI just picked up four staff, Solar Crest, Tombstone with the F shot upgrade. Infernal Blade, but there's the Moonlight Shadow. Somnus looking for the kill. The LSA lands. They've got the Dragon Slave, and DY will survive. 
goes into that tombstone. They're going to try and break it open to kill him off. But now the Star Storm is down. They finally get the kill on the DY. They're looking over to the side as they've got themselves the stun on the XM. Global Silence comes out, and now they've got the dust around the horn. So Jinx, you trying to again. leap away. They've got themselves their eyes on Somnus. They'll look for the right clicks. They've got the arena right in the mines, and they'll take him out. They lose Jinx with BKB running out on JT, though. He's in some trouble. Lou continuing to move forward. He's got Metamorphosis in 18 seconds. The Mighty Mines will try to keep this side of Extreme Gaming tough enough, but now they've got the War Stomp. They have the last word. Ghost might have gone in too far, and there's the Doom committed. They've got the Arcane Curse on a two. The Reflection, the kill, the Ghost. PA is gone. BKB by Lou. Astral Imprisonment only setting up the cogs. They land the arrow, but it doesn't matter. XM, well, he's going to die to neutrals. He doesn't even die to this Azor race sign. So Jinq now trying to leap away. He's got that Lotus Orb to purge off that last word, but the chase is on with Lou having Metamorphosis. The arrow lands out of the real terror blade, and they'll force F back this Marana. That was a bit of a mistake there from Extreme Gaming. They wanted to take a fight. Phantom Assassin didn't have BKB available. Both of your supports were already gone. And now Tombstone's gonna drop. Gold. Forcing a Glyph as well. They need the numbers. They need to have all five heroes. Let's see what Phantom Assassin wants to buy as their next item. Seems like it's gonna be MKB, but... Terrorblade with Reflection. With Scotty. Rocket slow as well. They're not moving. They're staying in the same spot pretty much arcane curse as well on top of them and they're gonna lose the first set of barracks here kind of a unexpected yeah didn't think that that was gonna happen with the 7,000 net worth lead that extreme gaming had but they caught ghost in a little bit too far he tried to play aggressive and well zoray were ready for that this is pre mkb too so there's gonna be a timing where lou picks this up and i think it at that point, he might just rip apart Ghost if he doesn't play it perfectly. MKB is going to be big upgrade. Just got to level 20, so Conjure Image Duration, which is going to make easier for him to push out the lanes. Extreme Gaming, they are smoked. Roshan is available. Psychic Headband here for the Clockwork. He's got a four staff. So does this offlane Silencer. He's going into the Hex. 26 permanent intelligence stolen. They've got the scan. They're going for Roche, but JT's off to the side, invisible with the Moonlight Shadow. And, ooh, Hex. Global Silence. That's good timing. It was post BKB. They go to the Laguna Bay. They get the kill on X. And now they're going to look over as the Doom is going to be here on a Ghost. Arena's down. JT gets the spear out of the clockwork, but I don't think that's going to matter. The LSA is menacing, but the right clicks are in from Somnus. Roche can't swipe that kill. And now. They look over the tombstone that is full with DY's body, and they'll put him into the grave. Three heroes dead. Somnus still Arrow moving connected. forward. They go over. They've got the LSA to that lands. They lose FY, but Ghost in trouble? Or is he? Right clicks come in. Somnus, though, surviving. They go to the Lotus Orb. They don't miss. They don't hit the LSA, and Ghost is going to jump over to Jinkyu. They still get the kill there onto the Phantom Assassin. They're looking for the full team wipe. Jinkyu's in trouble. LSA lands, and there it is. The only one who's got buyback is the Mars, and he's dead for 20 more seconds. But they clean up on Azor Ray. Yeah, it's so easy to itemize when you play against Ghost. Like, it's really written in the item. You buy Ghost Scepter, you counter him. <laughs> so this is the time when Somnus actually, like, lives because of it. It looked very dangerous for him. But this time, they are the ones initiating. They're the ones uh, throwing, throwing that Doom on top of Phantom Assassin. And this, uh, I'm gonna say, might be it. But uh, XM, he can't afford to die first. He also doesn't have buyback. This was their first showing of newly purchased Hex. So he's the one, like he was the one who blinked in and they try to go on Terrorblade, but uh, he's very tanky. He's a big boy, 3000 HP on top of him, global silence for a little bit of a backup. And this second Roche belongs to Azor Ray now. So they get their hands on an Aegis. And 10,000 net worth lead were the side of Azor Ray, but no lead has been safe in this series. Yeah, definitely feels like it. Both of these teams very even when it comes down to skill, I would say. It's, uh, it's uh, kind of hard to predict what's going to happen as well because they're very neck and neck. So Ghost Scepter upgraded into the E-Blade for the Lena. That's the magic damage upgrade as well, plus the level 20 talent, Aghanim Scepter. So that's going to be... A lot. 
And it's like <laughs> 2,000 damage, not even, like, maybe even 2,000 plus with the Ethereal Blade. Is the spell amp uh, additive or multiplicative? Or whatever the other one is. 11% uh, with the 35 and the, everything and the... And you've got the E-Blade. Yeah, it doesn't stack. It's not like it's a 300%. Billion, yeah. Yeah, it's not billion. So, MKB now finished on Terror Blade as well. And let's see how that's gonna go. Because these are the fights pre-MKB. So you still have to, you know, factor that in. Phantom Assassin, she's also going for MKB of her own. Getting very close to it. Needs to farm another 700 gold. It needs to be careful. He's under vision. Somnus looking. Ooh, interesting spot. He bleeds himself. They go to the global silence. They land the spear. It's gonna be here onto the Lena. Now the right click's coming out from Ghost. They blink in. They're trying to get the war stop. They go to the Samnus Eclipse. They get the kill on Somnus. Now they're gonna get the Doom off on a Ghost. He's in trouble, but there's that Tombstone again. They're gonna break it open. They've got the stun on him. They've got the kill on a Ghost. They've lost two for this, though. Tiaming is dead. DY, ooh, four staff trying to get away. Eventually, Lou's got the damage. Jinku Starstorm, Infernal Blade lands. They get the buyback coming out from DY. They have meta. They'll Another hit the Hex. The spear lands. It's on a chalice. They've got him locked to the tier fours with the gods of you kidding on a Lou. XM taking a lot of damage, but the soul rip from DY onto this XMOD not looking like it's going to be enough. They're even thinking about going into the well, but XM gets the four staff. He's able to survive just barely, and they'll buy back on JT. They still have ages to work with on Lou. Like they need to get something out of this buyback. Lou, he's been almost untouched, holding the ages for another two and a half minutes. And look at the damage that he deals. Those buildings, they're gonna melt. No sanities for another 70 seconds. No PA for 35. Tombstone committed. Tombstone disassembled. Oh, and he's, he's he walked in, he's stunned, he's, he's dead. Blink, Hex. Oh, Infernal Blade, a with XM the in fade. trouble, the spear back, Lou's gonna save him, they'll get the kill on the XM, he's got buyback, but it's now up against Mega Creeps. PA still not available for another 8 seconds, they go to the Global Silence, the Lotus Orb's not gonna matter, they get the kill on the Jinku, they look over at JT with a BKB, misses the spear on Somnus, who's ready to go, Infernal Blade once again, the right hooks come out, they get the kill on a TM Ming, but they need to clean up with XM and Ghost to defend, it's against Mega Creeps with the Tier 4s taking damage from these Creeps. They have the availability to jump in. Sanity's Eclipse still down for another 25 seconds. They've got the Hex ready to go. They'll throw a Stifling Dagger out as Terrorblade's just going to stand his ground and go for the Tier 4s and open up the throne. He has an Aegis for another minute and a half. Has another Sunder. Got Hex. There's Mid the Hex. Can they get it? There's the Aegis gone, but Creep's still coming in. Phantom Assassin looking for the moment to jump forward, but Chalice just hitting the throne as the Dagger gets thrown over on a Chalice. And the BKB is popped by FY. He's taking the attention here, but the Doom is used on a TPing out. Yeah, it doesn't work. Phantom Assassin? The, the throne's gone. The throne's gonna die in the end. They played it out. Okay.